right, today, areas of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. All right, uh, height of a trapezoid. Height of a trapezoid is the perpendicular distance between its bases. So again, we're talking about height. We're always talking about a perpendicular distance. All right, and if you remember definition of a trapezoid, all right, the bases are the sides that are parallel, okay, and the height goes between those two, from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. That's the definition of a height, going from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. Now, finding area of a trapezoid, okay, the area of the trapezoid is one half the product of the height and the sum of the lengths of its bases. So area equals one half height times the quantity B1 plus B2, base 1 and base 2. Okay, that's the equation of the area of a trapezoid. So real quickly here, all right, to prevent beavers from damming out drainage pipe, the trapezoid shaped fence shown is placed at the bottom of the pipe, approximate the area enclosed by this fence. All right, so we have a trapezoid here. Okay, they tell us it's a trapezoid. So we know that the area equals one half the height times base one plus base two. So the area equals one half the height, height in here, okay, going from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. From a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. So 8 squared of 2. And then base 1, 8 plus base 2, 16. Okay? And now all we have are numbers here, so simplify. So the area equals half of 8 is 4, so 4 squared of 2 times the quantity 8 and 16 is 24. Okay, so the area equals 24 times 4, that is 96, square root of 2. All right, now approximate the area enclosed by the fence. So approximate means plug it in your calculator. So all right, now I take that 96 times the square root of 2, and we get 135.8. feet squared. Area is always squared. The units are always squared. And we should have our units on here. Okay? Alright. Area of a rhombus. A rhombus, again, all four sides are congruent. The area formula is one half D1, D2. Alright? Diagonal one, diagonal two. And you're multiplying them. And then times a half. Area of a kite. Again, consecutive sides. Two pairs of consecutive sides are congruent. Area equals one half d1, d2. Again, those are diagonals. So the length of the diagonal one times the length of the diagonal two times a half. So rhombus and kite, you find the area the same way. Okay, find the area of the rhombus. All right, we have a rhombus here. We're told that length qt is eight, and it does look pretty good. And length rt is length eleven. All right, so. If you know, if you think back about a rhombus, a rhombus is a parallelogram, which means the diagonals bisect each other. All right, so length QS then is 16 centimeters, and length PR, all right, that's length QS, length PR is 22 centimeters. All right, and we have a rhombus, so the area equals one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So the area equals one half, diagonal one, doesn't matter which one we use, and then diagonal two. Okay, so the area equals half of 16 is eight, and then eight times 22 is, uh, what is that, 176 centimeters squared. Okay, know the area formula, and I will expect you to write the area formula down, substitute in the values, simplify. Okay? Just like that. Write the area formula, substitute in the values, simplify. Okay? All right. One diagonal of a kite is two times as long as the other diagonal. The area of the kite is 56 and a quarter square inches. What are the lengths of the diagonals? So we have a kite. All right, the diagonals. One diagonal of a kite is two times as long as the other one. So if this has length x, this one is length what? 2x, right? Two times as long. Okay, we're talking about a kite, and we're talking about area. So the area equals 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Well, they give us the area here. So 56 and a quarter equals 
equals one half diagonal one, okay, x, diagonal two, two x. Okay, simplifying a little bit here, 56 and a, 56 and a quarter equals, well, one half times two is one, x times x is x squared. So x squared equals 56 and a quarter. Take the square root of both sides, square root of x squared is x, square root of 56 and a quarter is 7.5. All right, now the question is, what are the lengths of the diagonals? So diagonal one equals x, so that equals 7.5 inches. Diagonal two is 2x, so 2 times 7.5 is 15 inches. Okay? Find the area of the rhombus with vertices 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 4, and 5, 2. Okay, now we're finding the area of a rhombus. Alright, that means again we're using the equation area equals 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Okay? And knowing this, okay, we have our graph. If I graph it here, 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's point M. M is 2, 4. Okay? N is 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 5, 6. Okay? N is up here. There's N. It's at 5, 6. Uh, P is at 8, 4. So 8, uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 4. So here, there's P at 8, 4. And then lastly, Q is at 5, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. Q is at 5, 2. All right, so here's our figure. All right. Now, find the area of the rhombus, which means we need the lengths of the diagonals. So we need these lengths here, OK? If we take a look at these points a little closer here now. All right, point M, 2, 4, point P is at 8, 4. Well, I notice that the Y values are the same. So what kind of a line is that again? If the Y values are the same, that mean it means it is a horizontal line. Don't waste your time with the distance formula. No, normally with points in the coordinate plane, to find the length of a segment, you have to use the distance formula. But if you know you have a horizontal or vertical line, like I've said from day one, you're wasting your time using the distance formula. What's the length between 2 and 8? So length MP is 6. Same thing, you take a look at point N, which is 5, 6, and point Q, which is 5, 2, you notice that the X values are the same. All right, so what kind of a line is that one? All right, NP, NQ, excuse me. That is a vertical line. Again, X values are the same, it's a vertical line. Don't waste your time using the um, distance formula. The length of NQ is the distance between 6 and 2, which is 4. All right, very good. Makes life a lot easier than having to use the distance formula. So the area equals 1 half. Diagonal 1, all right, we can use 6. Diagonal 2, we can use 4. So the area equals half of 6 is 3 times 4. So the area equals 12 units squared. All right? So if you have a rhombus and it's turned just a little bit, so it's no longer vertical or horizontal lines, you would have to use a distance formula. All right? But I recognize that MP, my Y value is the same, horizontal line. Don't waste your time with the distance formula. And Q, X values are the same, it's a vertical line. Don't waste your time using the distance formula. All right, that's all I got for today, and uh, we'll talk about more of this in class. Thanks.